Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. So what I've been doing is taking the any payroll related um, transactions, putting them into a payroll expenses, and then I write the journal entry to separate them out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you want to just walk me through that process? So what we've got is a, a client who uses ADP payroll. Um, you get the payroll detail report, which indicates each person who worked, what's their gross earnings, what their taxes were, what their deductions are, if applicable, how much they get for net pay, and then the liability, the amount of money that the employer needs to pay. So big picture, you're saying, um, my person earned $1,000, they received 800, 200 gets set aside and later turned in for our for taxes. Right. Um, the company also owes money for tax. So you have to tell the software like, okay, the company owed this money and oh, the company paid the money. ADP is nice in that they take all the money out of your account at the same time. Uh, so there's one deduction where they take money out for direct deposit. And then the second deduction is for payroll, for payroll taxes. Right. Your payroll liability report is going to tell you the cash required. It, okay. And so it's going to say, here's how much money I'm deducting for direct deposits. Here's how much money I'm deducting for taxes. Okay. So this is nice because it's the breakdown. Um, on the breakdown, EE stands for employee and ER stands for employer. So the payroll liability, you're going to have the same number you had before your direct deposit number, but this helps you allocate or break down the payroll tax withholding. So I'm just going to put these on my other screen and open up a journal entry within QuickBooks. Okay. So to make the journal entry, we're going to go to plus new on the right hand side, we're going to go to journal entry. What I will do is I will enter the date. Um, uh, if it's on a cash basis, I'm just going to enter the date where the money gets paid. So we're going to say 115.22. Okay. Payroll expense shows up here. Payroll expense is an expense account. I don't ever change the detail type. I've never found where it makes a difference. Right. So my debits, and I'm going to get this off of my payroll detail report. So on the payroll detail report, my total for my payroll wages is going to be payroll frequency totals monthly. My dollars is 10920 So that's what I'll enter in my debit column. Okay. $10,920. Um, so payroll expense, entire team. So just something simple to remember what's going on. Perfect. Then I, Thank you. <laughs> then I know that there's liabilities. I know that some of this money gets pulled off the top and that my employees don't get it. Liabilities. Uh, I'm going to change this to another current liability, payroll liabilities, save and close. So the amount of money of the liabilities, and I'll drag my ADP report back. Um, so the taxes withheld from people's paychecks is this number right here. So okay. I'm just going to copy it so I don't have to remember it and I'm going to put that there so then the next thing I have is um, this money goes to people right it leaves my checking account and goes to their checking account right the 9-6 number should equal my direct deposits so when I look at the payroll liability for ADP it says direct deposit here's the direct deposit number it's right. the same number I don't have to make it its own line. I like to make it its own line because it frustrates me less. Um, okay. Direct deposit to uh, team. So right now my debits and credits are in balance. If I were to look at my profit and loss, and I'll just change this to today's date because it'll be, it's not how Beautiful. I would really do it, but 2-28-23 because I want to see how my reports change as I go along. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I, I struggle with that for some reason. Me too. It was a very patient person who walked me through this. Um, and so I'm like, oh, it's my turn to do that for someone else. Why is it not showing up? Oh, it is. There's just nothing else there. And I got distracted. So my payroll expense is right here. That's the amount okay. of money for my payroll. If I look right. at my liabilities, um, 
doesn't matter because it's as of today's date, my payroll liabilities, and that matches. Um, let me drag this thing back over. Um, it matches this number right here, the amount of money withheld from people's paychecks that needs to be turned into various agencies. Got it. So that part is all good. Um, so we'll go back to our journal entry. I'm just going to use the magnifying glass to shortcut me there. And then I'm going to keep going. So the first deduction that comes out of our bank account is for the payroll uh, direct deposit. The second deduction is for the payroll tax. Um, so I'm going to say payroll expense again. And what you could do is you could have this one say payroll expense, gross wages, and the next one payroll taxes. Okay. I just don't want to go make more accounts right now. Sure. Um, so the payroll taxes, um, it's two parts. It's the money withheld from employees' paychecks, which we've already accounted for. And it's right. the company portion of the taxes, portion. which we have not accounted for. So I need to get that locked. The company portion is an expense to the business. Um, it's not withheld from people's paychecks. It's just money the business pays. So right. company, company, payroll tax. Um, okay. So now I'm going to say, okay, well, I am going to take the company payroll tax and the money withheld from people's paychecks, scoop it all up and turn it over to ADP. So I need to take the money from the liabilities, uh, six, five, three, six. I'm going to change my notes. Um, so payroll liabilities being paid out, um, payroll liabilities being withheld. Okay. So then my checking account, um, when money leaves my checking account, it's a credit. Um, if you don't remember, that's totally fine. You can just look at your um, checking account and see if it's in the spend column. Okay. So taxes being paid. I'm going to click save so I don't lose my work. So I'm saying that it's going to take out 2147 for my taxes, uh, which is not at all what I see here. What have I done wrong? So I've got 9118, um, 9182, which is that, and then 1265. Oh, just bad eyesight. Okay. 126536. And then this dollar amount. Um, I know that it's the difference between these two, and I know it's on the report, but I'm going to take the easier out. I'm going to type in one number minus the other number, and it should give me that. So now my debits and credits match. I will go back. I'm looking for 2177. 2177 matches. Yep. So that's great. If I wanted to, and what I definitely do, is I attach the payroll reports in the lower left-hand corner, okay. just in case I need to go back and look at them. Um, so I'm going to save and close. We'll look at our balance sheet. Our payroll liabilities is now at zero. If I want to click on it, I can see the history. So liability is getting added, liability is getting subtracted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look at the profit and loss. Um, so my payroll expense, and again, you can break into two things. And then the other is that we'll just look at the checking account and the money that we spent, they're both in the payment column. Okay. Now I think I finally got my brain wrapped around that that time. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Seriously, um, I don't know why it's so hard. It's, it's goofy. Like it's, it's goofy because there's so much stuff and so many components and some people like to track the social security and the Medicare and the state. And I'm like, you don't need to. if if ADP is keeping track of all of it and turning all the money in and I'm attaching the reports, um, I'm not going to make my life harder than it needs to be. I'm for that. Yeah. Yeah. For reals. Yay. Oh, I'm awesome. glad I could show you a thing. So, um, yeah. Thank you. So, so I'm Stacy Halbert with Two Cats Bookkeeping, and Rachel is a fantastic teacher. Thanks. Um, so you're a bookkeeper in Florida. Are your yes, clients all in Florida? Are they everywhere? Um, uh, most of them are in Florida, but I do have some in New York. Nice. And do you have a client preference? Um, who... Oh no, I I <laughs> love helping small businesses. So almost any walk of life, I've 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 helped. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So I, I can speak from experience that you work with QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks yes. Online and that you are an early riser and a very patient person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, early riser is no joke. 
yeah well i mean it, it's good right it means that like i i can be like please help me with this thing and then by the time i get up you'll be like here's what it's i done. did and here's my questions and <laughs> let me know if you need me <laughs> and i'm exactly. like magic